G'day. Let's have a look and see how simple and how cheap it can be to make some wine. Now this is not the best way to make wine, it's just the cheapest. So, you're going to need a few things. First of all, a bucket. Any old bucket. This one will hold about 10 litres. So you can make about 10 litres of wine in this bucket, but we'll probably only make about 5 just for this bit of fun. Okay, you're going to need a lemon. Any old lemon. A stocking. So, just a bit of a stocking, short stocking, long stocking, used, old, don't care. You're going to need some brewer's yeast. Now, you have to get this from a home brew shop. This is one of the things that you will have to buy, unfortunately. You can actually make wine without brewer's yeast, but if you make it with brewer's yeast, it's much nicer. A balloon or two. Something to stir with. Spoon, anything. Just a stirring. A couple of these pet bottles. Now, you're going to need as many of these pet bottles as you do to bottle uh, litres of wine. So, this is a 1.25 litre pet bottle. I'm probably going to make about 5 litres of wine, so you'll need about 5 of these. You don't need them immediately, as long as you can hold 5 litres. So, if you have a 3 litre one, you'll be fine. If you have a 5 litre one, if such a thing exists, you'll be fine. But we'll be using them later, but you don't need them straight away. But yeah, a couple of big pet bottles. Fruit. Actually, before we get fruit, uh, another thing you will buy is uh, Camden. These are Camden tablets. They're just little tiny white guys. I'll pull one out so you can have a look. You will need Camden tablets. Hopefully, this will work. I'm not sure they will. Little tiny white tablets they are. You're going to need just a couple of those. They are really cheap. You get them from most home brew stores. Uh, this lot cost me $2.50, and there were 50 in there. So. So they're the two things you've got to buy from a home brew store if you go in. There's lots of other things you can use, but this method we're going to do, which is just the cheapest, those two things you will have to buy. Brewer's yeast for wine, that is, not beer, wine, brewer's yeast for wine, and Camden tablets. Uh, and you will need sugar. Good old sugar. Get a couple of kilos. And you will need fruit. Now I'm going to use fruit in a tin, apricot halves, making an apricot wine. Now, as we go through it, I'll give you some more tips and tricks about what to do for this cheapy version of making wine. But yeah, you will need some sort of fruit. Now you can use fresh fruit, you can use not fresh fruit, whatever you like. It's just that out of a tin, it's easy, it's cheap. I think these are, I don't know, 50, 60 cents each or something like that. So uh, they will make a wine just as good as anything else. In actual fact, sometimes they're better because they're already contained in syrup and they're already juiced up a bit. Righto, we'll go through some bill details in a sec, but that's what you need. So just to review, you need a stocking, you need a balloon or two, you need a lemon, you need the brewer's yeast and the Camden tablets, a few pet bottles, same amount of volume as you're going to make wine, uh, you need fruit, out of tins, okay, good old sugar, a bucket. And uh, actually, one thing I forgot to mention, you'll just need a rag. This is just a, a dishcloth, something. Just to put it on top of the bucket. This is something about the bucket size. Righto, let's get to it.